I would like to welcome you to the webinar on how to use the Livia app. Uh, my name is Chris and I am in the Mankato Livia Weight Control Center as one of the lead consultants. I've been with Livia for one year now and actually I started as a client and so the Livia app was my method of choice for keeping track of my weight, my meals, um, the exercise, my water intake, and my supplements. So I'm excited to share this with you today. So uh, you can use the app at any phase in the program from weight loss to balance and lifestyle. And even if you track your meals via the written journal, uh, access to the app on your phone, you may find that helpful with all the available resor resources that we're gonna speak to today. So uh, a little bit of what we will be connecting on is uh, why tracking and the importance of that, how to install the Livia app, then setting it up, along with how to add your meals, and then what some of the other features that are also available on the Livia app. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first part of this, <clears throat> excuse me, is tracking your meals and why that's important. So uh, ultimately, what is tracking? Well, tracking is going to be your intake of all your food and beverages consumed in that day, anything that may fall off plan, so on plan and off plan items. And by doing this, it will create an awareness of current lifestyle behaviors and then help to identify any areas to improve upon. So why is food tracking important? Well, as the Livia guide shares, that tracking is an essential part of successfully losing weight. And that will truly help cementing the lifestyle changes to allow you to maintain your weight loss. Uh, there are studies that show by tracking, you know, notating what you are intaking will help you to be successful with your weight loss. So tracking will definitely help to gain deeper insight into your eating habits and then how to make those changes. This will not only help you to understand your habits, it will aid the Livia team in providing recommendations to reach your goals, your weight loss goals. So that's all part of that one-on-one -on -one consultation that we have with you and being able to collaborate on your weight loss. All right. So getting started and how to install the Livia app to your phone, your respective center will have these quick start Livia app instructions that they can provide to you. And so this is one of the two ways to install the Livia app. And the quick start step-by-step -step instructions, as I said, is available at your Livia center. The key when you receive this, walking through it, you want to make sure that you have the center's unique four-digit ID, and that is available here, as you see. But simply follow the easy-to-use guide, and it will help you to get started. The second option to be able to get this Livia app loaded to your phone is being able to use the QR code, which is also available at your center, uh, or otherwise connect with them and we can email that. But using the camera on your phone, you can take a photo of the QR code and follow the prompts. You want to be sure that you identify whether you have the iPhone or an Android. It will make a difference as far as which one that you focus in on with your camera. Uh, as it shares, there's no need to add an additional app to scan the QR code. You can do it right from your phone's camera. And once again, when doing this, you wanna make sure that you obtained and entered the Livia Center ID for the location that you visit. All right, so once you've worked through that process, you've got the Livia app added to your phone, the first step is going to be to set up an account. So you are going to use your own preferred email address, and then from there, you're gonna create your own password too. So make sure you keep track of that password for when you need to log in. While the Livia app will keep you logged in for a few days at a time, 
there will be those moments where you're going to need to log in again. No worries, though. If you do forget your password, uh, you can see here on the screen that you have an option to easily reset. All right, so incidentally, uh, should you have any questions here along the way, uh, please feel free to use the chat or the QA function. So once again, if there's any questions that you may have along the way here, uh, feel free to use the chat or the QA function. All right, then we are going to work into the profile page. So if you see on the home screen in the upper left, you'll have those three bars. Uh, it's highlighted here. You want to select into those three bars. It will take you into the profile page uh, that you see here on the left side and the options that are listed there. Be sure to add your photo and get your profile information inserted. Uh, the profile information does include your daily goals to be able to edit, and that's what you see on the right here. So you have lots of different options. One of the questions that does come up when people get started is about the daily calories. Uh, you can simply just put it at 1,000. Um, it'll have a default in there. So if you want to change that, you don't have to. But ultimately, if you would like to change it, this is where you would go ahead and update all your goals that you have from your weight, your daily steps, your water intake, what you uh, anticipate for sleep. Uh, and again, your calories are here along with your weekly exercise. So uh, just to call out to on the home profile page that you see, uh, if you need assistance from uh, the tech support, there's an available option here. Otherwise, their email address is support at coachcare.com and they will assist you with anything that you may have for questions or needs associated with the Livia app. All right, so once you've completed your profile page, then you can get started with tracking. But what am I gonna track? So uh, as you see, if we look on the left, there is the view meals and being able to track your meals there. Then you have your exercise along with your supplements and your water. So you would just tap into each of the respective areas uh, and be able to make the needed updates of your meals, your exercise, or your supplements. In this case, uh, I opted to show the water. It's kind of fun with being able to fill that bottle. So challenge yourself and make sure to fill up that water bottle for your daily intake. And you can easily do that with the plus or minus that you see for filling up the bottle. All right, when it comes to adding your meals, there is a couple options with this as well. You can look at the screen here and see in the upper right of the shot uh, that's highlighted in yellow, that is a barcode scanner. And this makes it really easy to add your Livia meal or your grocery store fresh and lean items to the app. So any items with a barcode may be scanned to the app. So then we'll go into the alternate option is to start typing your meal to make the selection and we'll see that next. All right. So when it comes to adding the Libya meals, once you've selected view meals from the page that we were on from the home page you'll have the option of tracking your meals. So you'll wanna select whether it's your breakfast, your lunch, dinner, uh, or if it's your snack. And so that's that view on the left that we're seeing. And then you can start typing in that Libya meal, the name of it. And then you'll see as it is on the right, in this case, I've chose the uh, caramel because that caramel cocoa bar is my uh, breakfast of choice. So I think it's awesome. All right, so as you see, you start typing in that Livia meal and the list will populate. Then just tap into the Livia meal. And then once you see that down at the bottom, uh, there will be the quick add bar at the bottom of your phone screen to be able to complete that addition. So the other option is if you look at the highlighted area, there's that barcode scanner and that is in the upper right uh, of your phone. Simply tap on the icon, use your camera phone to scan the barcode uh, from the Livia box. And then once again, you're gonna tap that quick add bar to the meal. So the barcode scanner uh, is fun to use. It's easy and 
quick. All right. So that was about adding your Libya meals. Uh, this is moving into adding your fresh and lean meals. So the process is actually the same once you select your view meals from the home page. And again, you'll have two options. So we walk into selecting the meal type, uh, such as the breakfast, lunch, or dinner, your snack. And then you want to move uh, the bar over into or tap on search, I should say. And then you'll start typing in the meal or the food, what your intake is. So in this case, it's filet and so filet mignon. So you'll see that it pops up. So you have the filet mignon as common. And if you look down a little further, you have some different brand names such as Trader Joe's and their beef filet mignon and then uh, ultimately Schwann's filet mignon. So the list is quite extensive. And yeah, I encourage you if you have some brand names, uh, being able to go through in that way. But otherwise, in this case, we're gonna select as far as the filet mignon uh, and having that be common. Then uh, you can move over into your vegetable, which is on the right. And again, just start typing in under search. And in this case, we've got our broccoli. Uh, and you can see uh, that we have broccoli common. What's also nice, if we go down a little further, we've got our cooked broccoli and we selected our filet mignon, right? So that's got our healthy fat built in. So we wanna have our cooked broccoli with the fat not added in cooking. So that is an option here. So it's simply just tap on that and then you wanna just make sure uh, that you have the access to the barcode part of it too. So that's the alternate option uh, with the grocery store food. Uh, anything that has a barcode, as I stated. So obviously when you check out at the grocery store, that's typically uh, with the barcode and you can do that here too. All right, so once we've got those added, you can actually edit. And so if you scroll down a little further, you can see here with the black broccoli um, that it's showing as far as one cup of the florets. And then looking a little further, if you'd like to, since this was about dinner, you can change the time if you're eating at a different time uh, than what is showing up on the phone. So that would just be clicking on the highlighted clock here uh, and being able to make that change. Ultimately, I wanted to show this because one of the other aspects that comes up for questions is actually on the serving size. So as you see here, number of servings, uh, you have the option for plus or minus, uh, and then you can also make the adjustment by fractional. So in the case of broccoli, if it's gonna be a half cup, or if we're doing our three servings with the one and a half cup. So then the key is always remember to save your work. All right, so this would be what it looks like after saving your fresh and lean meal. And once again, you can see that we've got our cooked broccoli, uh, the fat not added in cooking to go with our beef filet mignon, uh, and we have some cooked mushrooms too. So uh, you can always click on the item and you can edit or delete. So no worries there, you can always make those adjustments. Now, uh, one of the things that I really liked when I was using the app as far as tracking my meals was being able to slip over to the recent. So the option of recent meals is very helpful when adding meals to the, to the Libya app. You may simply view the list or similarly to uh, what you've been doing, you can simply start typing in. So as you see here, the strawberry lemonade enhancer being one of those items, uh, one of my favorites uh, that I utilize and being able to enter that into as far as a snack. So make it easy if there's something that you typically have. Like I said, you can just click on the recent uh, and whether you view the list or otherwise start typing it in. Also, if you see favorites is an option along with my foods. Okay, then as I had said, if you opt out of not using the Livia app for tracking, there's still value in having this added to your phone and that falls into our digital library. 
So if you are on the home page, you'll see the bar, bright bar at the bottom. That is the bright orange bar. And you can click on the bar and it will take you to a list of available Libya resources. And here is just a snapshot of what some of those resources are. Uh, there's certainly more than what you see here. So once you select the digital library from the home page, you'll see the list of what's available. Uh, one of my frequently used items was the dining out guide. And so whether it's in your respective city or otherwise a national chain of restaurants, that's available. And then you can also see that you have your grocery guides too. So, uh, but what's more, you have the Libya recipes, we've got the get up and move calendar, and then there's so much more. All you do is you simply select the topic of what you're looking for, and it will take you there. So in this case, uh, coming up next, what I had selected was our Libya product order form. So this too is on the digital library. And with all the new and wonderful products that we've been adding, uh, I know many of you would like to have that product order form readily available. So you can, if you want access to the Libya product order form at your fingertips, just check out the digital library and you'll have quick and easy access to view the current Libya products that we have available. All right. Then we have our recipes. So thanks to client feedback, the Livia app's been updated to make it easier to find Livia recipes. So you may now search by category, which is especially helpful when you're wanting to try a new recipe and you might be at the grocery store. So you can see here as far as browsing by category, whether it's appetizers or breakfast, um, desserts, or maybe you're, you know what, maybe you're at a friend's house and you want to make something uh, for yourself that falls on plan. So this is easy to carry with you and have readily available when it comes to searching for recipes. Then in the digital library, we have the get up and move videos. So the get up and move videos within the digital library provide an easy to follow tutorial for your exercises that you can do in the privacy of your own home. So you can see those here and have fun with that and be comfortable. All right. So lastly, when it comes to continuing the nutrition education, uh, it's readily available to you right on your phone that you take with you everywhere, right? Um, so check out that digital library for the expert blogs from our registered dietitians and many more webinars for additional information and support. You'll see this webinar uh, on next week at the beginning of the week. Lots of information though that's available to you. And as I talked about having more and more resources, this is an example of what's available on the digital library. All right, then lastly, uh, you want to be able to contact your Livia Center uh, through the Livia app with messaging. So if you look at your home screen, you can see at the very bottom that it has as far as the contact. And so you would use that contact tab at the bottom to send quick and easy messages to the Livia team. So you can ask any kind of question that you might be wondering about. The example on the right here is uh, an inquiry on the digestive enzyme and clarifying what that um, supplement intake is. And then if there's any additional questions with the digestive enzyme, for example, but any questions about Libya products, if you're wondering about your daily workout, healthy recipes, uh, just anything that might be needed. And there's also, you can reach out for any additional support for some of those days where you're like, ah, I need some help. Uh, feel free to reach out to the Libya team and it's just one click away. And then as it shows, uh, what you'll see as far as for a response back from the team. All right, well, thank you for your time today. So with that Livia app, you may track your meals, uh, your water, your supplements, weight, and what your progress is. It's all right in front of you. You can see that, the accountability, the motivation, uh, it's all, right there for you. So, and then you have access to the wealth of available resources 
that are right on your phone. And again, wherever you go and take your phone, you have that available. So I really encourage you to take the opportunity to explore and have fun with the Livia app. I know I did, and it just made that difference. It also helped me with just my general education, you know, using that barcode scanner, especially when it was on some of the grocery store food and looking at calories uh, and serving sizes and just continuing to help me to be able to maintain from a lifestyle perspective and to keep learning because I love to keep learning. So if you have any questions, you may email me at the Mankato Libya Center uh, and that email is mankato at libya.com or otherwise you can inquire with your Libya consultant at your location. And as I said, that this uh, will be available, the webinar will be available at the beginning of next week in case you want to review uh, and be able to look at some of the different screenshots that were available here. But please, if you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to myself or uh, at your Livia consultant at your location that you visit. So I have appreciated your time today. Thank you so much. And have a great day.